Hi, this is Ben Marcel with Wireless IQ. Today we're going to check out a cool program for the BlackBerry called eMobile Today. This is the professional version. It's a really cool application that's similar to the active desktop on Windows Mobile. So you have one screen for all of your personal information. As events occur, this desktop updates. For instance, here it shows I have one appointment today, zero tasks, zero new emails, one SMS. If I send an email to the device, the desktop will update automatically. So here is the new email and it shows you who it's from and the subject line. To open the email you just click the trackball and select open and it brings up the email. To exit out you just press the back button and then now it says no new email. So each category has a subcategory underneath it and you open it by pressing the trackball. You can close it by pressing the back button. So here I have one new SMS if I want to view it I press the trackball and in this case it shows who it's from and um, the first characters of the SMS text that you received. If you want to open it press the trackball hit open and that takes you to the message. Then you can press the menu button and you can reply to this message or you can forward it. And the format within the personal information or the text messages or the emails is similar to how it looks on a Blackberry. You can even compose a new text message from here by pressing the trackball and compose SMS. And you would do it, compose it as you would normally. It also shows your missed calls on the screen. So I'm going to exit out of the SMS, go up to missed calls, and I can press the trackball on the missed calls, and it shows today. <clears throat> I can also view the past few days. There's Monday, Sunday, Saturday. You also have your contacts list. You can open it by pressing the trackball. Here's my name in here. You can scroll left and right. Now, you aren't able to do a full search from this screen like you are in your regular contacts list. So if I press M, it brings me to the first letter in the M's and it sorts it by last name there's no way if I wanted to search for Ben to type B E N it doesn't recognize that here are my appointments and you can view today and the next few days if you want to view the appointment you can just go press the trackball on it and hit open or you have the option to delete it or create a new appointment you can also view the week it has a separate calendar view than the Blackberry's normal operating system and also if you have any tasks coming up that are due you can view them as well other shows all of the tasks that you have in your task list that's not defined by a specific date. If you press menu, you can go and change the theme. So here I can pick different backgrounds. So if I prefer a particular color, I can change the background. You can also change the settings. You can show what color the font is, what size the font is. Um, you can also show which features you want shown on the home screen. So for instance if I don't use tasks too often I can deselect tasks, press menu and then save 
and now the tasks don't show up on the main screen. So I'll go back to settings. Um, there are also some other features that you can um, view or not view, as well as some add-ons that eMobile sells, such as weather, stock, and news, all on the active desktop. You can change the type of clock from digital to analog, and then you can uh, show all tasks or filter by and show only the incomplete tasks. <clears throat> Just be careful if you change a setting and you press the back button, it escapes out without saving that setting. Um, as you saw whenever I changed, when I removed the tasks earlier, I pressed menu and then save, and then it saved the changes. You can also go to switch application here and it brings up an icon list of a lot of the applications on your Blackberry. So you can switch to any of the applications. Um, I found the easiest way to get back to the regular screen in the Blackberry was just to press the red button and that brings me to the main screen. So here it's still showing that we have one text, the one that I sent earlier. So that's one of the downfalls of the software is it really doesn't synchronize between the regular Blackberry operating system and the actual program. Uh, For instance, I'm going to send a message to the phone, but I'm going to view it in the regular Blackberry operating system. So here I view the message. Here it is. Now when I go back to the e-mobile program, it's still showing that that one text message is there. And it won't ever update that I read that message from the BlackBerry operating system. Uh, there is a feature in here where if you hit menu and then refresh, it will then figure out how many new messages that you have. If you have some frequently used programs, you can assign a hotkey to them by going to menu and then switch application. And then here it shows, if I press menu, I can add a hotkey. So here it shows that the hotkey is available are 1, 5, 6, 7. So if I want to create a hotkey for the alarm clock, I can make it 7. And then if I want to access it, I have to press Alt 7 and then it takes me to the alarm. you can view which hotkey is assigned to it by looking here at the top that says alarm and in parentheses it has the number seven um, another thing that I noticed was from the main screen here I couldn't just dial a number like I'm used to on on the regular Blackberry operating system uh, you can still push the green button and then go up and dial the number and then press the green button again But I, I'm kind of used to just being able to dial from the main screen. So that would be another feature that I'd like to see them add. Also, there's no ability to lock the keys. Uh, normally you can press the star button and hold it, and it will lock the keys. I'm finding that I have to exit out and then press and hold the star button to lock the keys before I put it in my pocket. Ultimately, it's a really cool program. I do like to have all of my information in one place and it's organized very well. There are a few little quirks with the software that I can pretty much live with. Um, it does take a little bit of time to get used to the actual interface. It's not exactly as intuitive as the Blackberry operating system but once you give it you know a day or two you get used to it and then you're able to navigate it with no problems. You can download this software from Handango. It's uh, $29.99 and I will have a link for you on our blog to where you can download the software. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a holler. This is Ben from Wireless IQ.